Hey, uh, it's me, uh, Scott Talley, broker here at Five Market Realty. Um, it's about 5.36 p.m. on Monday, June 22nd. Behind me here in Athens, there's a pretty good thunderstorm going on. I hope it doesn't uh, cause too much background noise. And as you can probably see, I've got a nice little uh, sunglass raccoon uh, face tan going here from uh, getting out of town a little bit with the family and getting some sunshine. Hopefully, uh, many of you are getting that same opportunity. So we've been doing some updates since, uh, well, we've really always done them, but the video update's been a little different. As many of you, if you look at these, I usually at the end of the month, which is not here yet, track the numbers, very specific ones about pending, days on market, median price. What I wanted to do today, because it's been about three weeks since we've done anything, is look at something a little different because we're seeing a very active market in a lot of ways, which I know people might find surprising. So what I wanted to look at was just June, and that's from June 1st to the 22nd, as of 5.46 p.m. And then um, compare that with 2020, this time frame in June, to 2019. And the numbers, again, are pretty surprising of what we're seeing come back. Now, uh, today I did a little worse scribble job on this board. Hopefully it's legible and you can read it, but I'm gonna try to go through it and point out the things that I thought I wanted to look at. Number one, new listings. Uh, what came to market in this month versus last year, same time frame. Considering that we're sort of coming out of the shelter in place, obviously there's still plenty of concern uh, for people and for us to be worried about and manage, but we are coming through some of the restrictions. So let's take a look at the new listing and the pending. So in June, the first 22 days in Clark and Oconee County, 175 new listings. 196 so far in 2020. So that's up roughly about, you know, 19 units. And then the big number here, which has really been coming back, if you recall in May, we looked at the numbers in May and we had 174 units going to contract in May of 2020 and 174 in May of 2019, which showed a huge surge back of activity. Well, let's look at what happened in June. First two 20 days, 22 days of June, 99 properties go pending. First 22, June 2020, 153 units. That's a tremendous, look at these numbers. So 2020, the listings are up 19, the pending homes are up 54 units. That's an increase of 35%, 35% when you compare it to last year. But here's the thing to also note, this is great that we're putting these properties on a contract. We're not gonna keep up with it. We don't have enough inventory. And I know that a lot of people are experiencing a lot of changes and a lot of fear, but if you were planning to sell or considering to, you really need to reevaluate and, and, and get with somebody because what we're seeing is a market that doesn't have enough of what a lot of buyers are looking for. You know, our higher end inventory is still selling, but that's less buyers. One thing I want to point out to you is um, condos specifically. So condos in, in Athens, Georgia, over the last couple of months, we have seen uh, eight to 10, 11, 12% increase in value in some cases. Take a place like the Highlands at Woodlake, might have been selling for 139, 140, now selling for 160. Take a place like, um, let's see what we know, I just sold one at Deering Street that went from a 230 value to 267. And it went there because it was an upgraded unit, but it was also scarcity. What's happened in our market is we've had a lot of people that were not able to find what they were looking for. They're still trying to find it. And now that some of it's coming to market, we're having a competition. Seeing condos go up and student properties pretty quickly. A lot of the UGA parents that are still planning on their children attending school are, are looking very hard. At the same point, we've seen some great residential properties take a big leap. So, um, you know, selling in this climate is doable. We want you to know that. Um, it's, it's still difficult to be a buyer. That's, that's not as much in the market as what many people are hoping to find. So long and short, these are great numbers to see, but we're heading towards a problem because if we keep putting this amount of pending up without growing here in these listings, we're already in a low supply market and that's going to just get worse from here. So if you're thinking of selling, uh, feel free to reach out to us. If you know someone that is, call somebody here at Five Market. It might not be the time now, but you might want to think about it as we head into 2021 and hopefully look to a little brighter future here. Um, but reach out to anybody if you have a question. Have a great week.